Hello everyone, I am going to be doing a showcase for the Blackthorn Tournament. Now, um, recently with tournaments they've changed it, so now uh, they will give a cycle of rewards going around the, the middle, banner and uh, the belt. Go between those three, cycling every three months. Uh, so this one is for the banner, um, and they've actually changed it, so instead of a jewel being the second, uh, being the second reward, it's now a chest which works um, kind of like the chest you buy in, in events uh, where it will give you the, this random chance reward and then also all of these. So uh, you can see there's three different rewards. There's uh, Tristone, which now the maximum, uh, the highest reward is 150 damage one, which is good. This one is from the, was it the Moon yeah the moon Festival, uh, the damage and crit, crit damage one, which is a good jewel. Or you can get a premium gem box or a mythic prism. Um, and likewise in these, these each have chests which give you some kind of gem box, the equivalent brilliant prism, and then um, a lesser jewel. So this one doesn't act, it's not actually a damage jewel. Um, it's just a quick chance and quick damage jewel. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think are they gonna be putting the is it the 90 damage jewels on here? No, these are gonna be like uh, the next sort of stage down, 40, 45 kind of damage. Anyway, um, so this is essentially where we're going to get the um, present jewels now, with the top ones here, the 40% plus ones in the relic. This is going to be like the 30% probably. Anyway, I'm not going to make do just So let's get straight into it. Uh, it's Cropted Woods. I'm going to be doing them all in classic difficulty as normal. Um, I've actually put it down, so this is the Wolfix Prism. I like to use Fireball for this one, um, just because uh, you face multiple enemies. There's one Druid, which you've got to take down. Um, like I said in previous ones, this isn't meant to be any kind of guide, this is just a showcase of them, so I'm doing them quickly. And um, actually, I'll use Healing Phantom, I think. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll talk along as I go through. So the, the wolves aren't too difficult to take down, they don't have much health. Uh, but what does happen is that the druid will actually um, power them up sometimes. And when I say power them up, they get their little animation which you might have seen just then. And then they explode. And you can't hurt them when they are like that. So you've got to just basically run away from that particular one. Oh, is that a rare item box? I haven't had one of those in a long time. Cool. Um, getting a little bit of lag there. So, yeah, it's a nice easy one to start. These generally get uh, progressively tougher, which is a good way to do it. So the first few are really quite easy. Uh, that one I didn't I didn't really get a good display of how easy it is, but uh, yeah, you can run away from those rules. They, they don't hit you at all. And the Druid isn't very powerful in itself. So the next one, um, I like to use Human Phantom 4 because it's uh, it's just sort of more of a single target one. Um, it's kind of cool. It uses a big like, tortoise. For any Americans, that's a turtle, as you call it. Um, I just say I got a I got a relic uh, reward. Um, managed to pick one up. Didn't really have to work for it too hard actually. Um, and yeah, my my uh, chest reward was a premium gem box, which gave me two thousand gems. So yeah, you guys may complain about that now we have a chance of getting a, a gem box and stuff, but like they do sometimes give a lot of gems. And in my mind, I think it's a bit better this way because otherwise we just get way too many, um, way too many like powerful jewels easily. Like um, if you get multiple, say you you spend a lot for a lot of valor, like use your gems to to buy a lot of valor for one thing get multiple of the top reward, like, suddenly then you've got loads of, um, loads of good damage jewels, good present jewels, like that. I mean, you've got to have some way to get those, but I just think spacing it out over a longer period of time is, is better. Um, but yeah, so the worst reward in my mind would be the, uh, the Brilliant Prism, just because, like, you can get them in other ways, and it's a lot of, like, it's an awful lot of effort going through these, just to, um, just to get, like, uh, just to get a brilliant prism. Um, all right. 
So as you saw that last one, um, it's a uh, it's an enemy, a big uh, to tortoise which will one shot you, and you've just got to run away from it. It's very slow moving as you take down the um, the boss. I'm sure um, uh, for knights it's quite a bit harder because you've got to get into melee with the boss. And on this, um, I like to take down these infernal guys first. Um, you can see they run very fast and they leave a trail behind, but um, with frost arm it actually slows them down, so you can keep them away. Um, no, I'll take down the edge. I have fireball in this one purely for the reason that there are um, those infernal ghouls or whatever they're called, because they will kill, of course. Um, that's what they do. All right. And the main boss of it is that big infernal guy. He um, he summons various pillars of flame. I think he yeah he's the one who summons the the ghouls as well. Um, these big meteors they just kind of happen randomly. They're not to do with anything. And I leave these guys for last because running around means they just don't really hit you. They're like the sorcerers from um, I can't remember if they're in the maps, but they're in the dungeons at least. Um, yeah, they're like those, except they do a kind of spray rather than single shots. I used to get really annoyed with them when I first started the game, because um, I didn't ever get shown how to play by anyone, so I didn't really dodge stuff, and uh, they used to really annoy me because they, they do knockdown, and like if there's more than one, they just chain knockdown on you. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I can't beat this, it's so hard. Um, anyway, so the next one, what are we looking at? I would look at the um, spiders. There are two spiders ones in this one. Um, this one's actually similar. It's a kind of idea which is used in lots of games where you you defeat one enemy, it splits into two, and then keeps on going. So you start off with one enemy, which if you want to wait for the thief, um, I'd advise doing it at this point because it can't really get you, as you can see. <laughs> uh, you can just run around. And I've got couple of lucky props with that actually. This is why I kept this equipment set. It's it's eight uh, eight set burners. It's just really good. It's good for crowd control, good for single targets. We don't need that little healing tra uh, trend or whatever you call it. Alright. I like to go for the uh, the ranging one. They kind of they go randomly. Um, usually one of them is ranging, so I'll take that on that one first. And then yeah, what you can do is is choose to uh, if you struggle with it, just do one of the one of the two stars in it, and then um, uh, leave the other the other big one until you've taken down all all the small ones. And actually, all the enemies in this one, like I was saying before, the, the first few of these tournaments of uh, challenges are very easy, and this one is also very easy. Um, I mean, the melee enemies you can run away from, so uh, you can just focus on the ranging enemies. And none of them really do much damage. You see these little poison pools on the, on the ground, which appear when you kill them. Those do a lot of damage, and. Uh, I thought it was these little ones, the final ones, which d were, were killing me. Actually, what was happening is I'd hit them, and then uh, the the poison pools would go all over me, and my health would drain really fast. So you can't just sit up in the tank. You've got to kind of move out of the way from where you're killing. So yeah, it's a bit more interesting than just enemies splitting. Right, this next one has got to be the easiest one, and I do not know why. Uh, I can't remember which one of my friends it was, but they, they couldn't do this challenge, and I had to help them, and um, I won't name them shame them. Uh, Alright. I'm not sure how we're doing on time, actually. Probably going to get a terrible cut. Oh. Alright. Uh, I think I'll probably just do... I'll do eight of the challenges. I'll go for that. Alright. So you've got to defend this stag, and I've never actually not managed to defend it, but um, with the, the rewards for um, for doing this tournament challenge, it seems that you can let it die, and then um, uh, then it turns into some kind of enemy which you can kill. 
uh, and still complete the challenge. So in fact, you may not even need to need to defend it. But anyway, you can heal up these guys as you can see. And I normally run straight over, but I got distracted by the thief. That's the difficult enemy, this Venom Druid, because of that tornado. Um, if you take him down in the second wave, then there's nothing he's worried about. Um, and nothing will kill the, kill the archers even. Uh, you can see the stag doesn't really lose much health. But of course I am overpowered, so maybe this is difficult for some people. But you can heal up the, um, the archers with healing fountain or um, what do you call it? Uh, the cupcakes. Oh, actually, the stag is going down. Normally, when I finish this, um, the stag's on about half. You can't heal it up. So, you know, a cool, cool thing about this new um, chest idea with the, with the tournaments, if it is something which they continue, um, is that because the premium gem boxes are, are in there, that there actually there may actually be some worth of getting uh, getting artifact rewards and stuff as well. So that's what I'm going to go for. Um, let me just check. Uh, right, yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm actually going for an artifact reward as well now. Um, I wasn't before, but after I got those two thousand gems, I thought oh, that might be useful. So I'm collecting artifact set. As well. Here you can see this one is um, a bit more annoying. Um, you get attacked before you can do anything, and sometimes that will hurt you. Uh, but yeah, you've got these three crystals: one that increases defense, one increases attack, and this one spawns enemies. Uh, this one you do not want to get close to. You just want to stay outside this ring. It does shock waves, which pull you in, um, and yeah, they'll they'll do a lot of damage. Uh, so that will catch you in, you can't teleport out because of the knockback. Um, so yeah, it's awkward. Um, yeah, the enemy, the, these crystals respawn as well. Um, and they also shield themselves after a bit of time. You see I didn't actually kill these two, I had to come back to them. Uh, and also the boss cast Reflect, so there's a lot going on in this one. Oh, I didn't get it. It's on full health, it's on full health. Oh well. Yeah, this is probably the first um, the first one which actually has some difficulty to it. The others aren't challenging as long as you keep moving and such. And I'd recommend Chain Lightning, uh, but I don't use it because uh, I haven't got it. I'm refusing to get it because I'm trying to encourage myself to do some experience farming, but I still haven't got around to it. Uh, so this next one is the poison snake. Okay. I'll do two more. Finish off with seeing red. Um, what's this one like? I can't actually remember. Just that it's got a poison snake in it. I think for this one I pretty much just link it up. Oh, he summons up some serpents, but um, yeah, I think he just spams these pools, and like they don't drain much health, but uh, he keeps putting them on on you, and like when he stacks them up, then they they start taking up a lot of health. So you can either do what I'm doing, which is moving around, just because I'm waiting for the thief, or you can just tank it all up and kill him. Oh no, I used incinerate. No, didn't mean to. Oh well. Let's just imagine that there was no thief. The next one is quite a cool one. I like it a lot. Um, it's one which, uh, in the forum at least, got a lot of attention as a, uh, a challenging one. Um, it's because it, it has the... It has the suicide ghouls, the fire ones, which have a bigger explosion and a lot more health, so you can't reliably take them down. Um, it requires it um, describes it here as a dance. That actually is a really good description of it. It's a dance around all these enemies. You've got to manage where they go. 
um, 